Sidewalk is closed. Keep going. So I'm heading down to Union Square. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where we're gonna go from that point, but uh, Mel and I, we are going down to uh, view and kind of support and experience the, the protests and if, of course support everyone and, uh, peacefully and um, yeah, kind of just see what's going on and, and not just stay in our apartment and and watch the news, but actually go see what it's like in person. And All right, so we're heading, we got off at 8th Avenue, 14th Street. We're now walking towards Broadway. We met our friend James here. What up, James? What's going on? Uh, we didn't know each other before this, but now we're, we're becoming good friends. But James is guiding us to where the protest is. And yeah, so far everything seems pretty peaceful. It's, I mean, it's a gorgeous day in New York City. Um, and yeah, I'm expecting good energy. I'm not expecting anything crazy to happen. If something crazy does happen, this little one back here, hey. <laughs> she'll, uh, she'll do all the, uh, the talking. <laughs> So at this point we are behind the protest. We're about two or three blocks behind it trying to play catch up. And as you can see there's graffiti um, on the windows and of course with any type of protest uh, you might have some bad eggs like this who, who do some vandalism and graffiti. Now what's interesting here is uh, these guys are definitely undercover cops. You can see the handcuffs. They were also, uh, you know, among many other police officers, uh, lagging a little behind the protest and of course New York being New York you have people eating ice cream as if nothing's going on and it's just a regular day in New York City it's pretty funny and this was uh, captured during 7 p.m. so you're gonna see these people they actually the residents of these buildings um, giving you know congratulations and applause to the frontline workers every day at 7 p.m. they do that so yeah, now we're we're getting closer to the crowd, and you can see the you know police car. Unfortunately, there was graffiti and vandalism, which is an aspect of the protest that I did not enjoy or support. All right, we're getting closer to the crowd. We're about two blocks behind them right now. Um, we're walking down Broadway, heading towards the financial district. This has definitely been a journey and the crowd's actually moving pretty quickly. Um, we're walking at a fast pace and, and still not really catching up to them, but definitely getting closer to the action. Um, and yeah, so pretty soon here we'll be with the crowd and we'll be marching. All right, we're running right now because we're just trying to catch this crowd and it's getting wild out here, guys. My feet hurt. Look at Mel, look at her. Go, go, go Mel. But yeah, we're running into the action. We're going to find this protest and we're going to join it and contribute and be a part of it and support the cause.
years in the penitentiary, and I've been watching shit on the news. We have no love. Where's the love? We gotta die for for, for us to love each other. That shit is sad. Right. It's sad. It's sad. We gotta die for us to come together. Funeral. We gotta. We come together for funeral. That shit is sad. We gotta love each other while we're here. Hands up and quiet.
I heard there was like a clash essentially, and the people who got detained it, is it because they threw stuff? I don't know. I wasn't over there. I okay, know. yeah. Yeah, because we were at the tail end of the whole thing, and I was just surprised that everyone went onto the Brooklyn Bridge into the traffic. Uh, but it was pretty peaceful, and then I guess down here it got a little. It was like a clash. Yeah. But yeah, they all they got arrested. What? Yeah, we're, we're heading home now and, you know, it, it was definitely an experience that I'm glad I had and glad to be a part of and, and support the cause. With a protest like that and a gathering like that, lots of people have different intentions uh, and emotions for being there. So you really saw a little bit of everything and it's kind of almost, for the mind, a little difficult to, to grasp and to digest and really understand what it is that, that you're... Uh, enjoying and, and potentially not enjoying. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, it was a great, great march, great protests. It was peaceful uh, up until the end. There was a clash with the police and the protesters uh, at the end of the Brooklyn Bridge. And a lot of people got detained, got arrested. So uh, just a mixed emotions, mixed, mixed everything and definitely something that that I'll never forget and, and glad I was a part of. And of course, you know, not in endorsing or condoning any type of illegal activity, um, but just, just being there and uh, supporting those who were there to, to, do, to do it peacefully and, and uh, for all the right reasons.